Welcome back to our video series on the Play Framework using Scala. We continue working on our task list using Scala.js, and in the last video, we primarily focused on abstracting the whole fetch process because there was a lot of boilerplate. We wrote this fetch post, and I said that offline I was going to write code that would allow load tasks. Uh, it turns out that the server doesn't like getting data uh, for things that don't need to have data, so I split, we have both a fetch post and a fetch get. The fetch get is simpler because it actually doesn't use the CSRF token. There is no data going in. So it's just a URL and success. And you can see the code that comes in there. And in fact, I have some print lines in here that can be taken out as well. And so now we have this for our login and this for our load task and we need to work on delete. Now delete is again a post, and this was the code that was taken from our straight JavaScript version, uh, which here it had been inside of load task. Uh, this is delete right there. So we want this to do, to call our fetch JSON, and it is doing a post, and the route it is calling is the delete route. The CSRF token is the same CSRF token. The data that we want to pass through is an integer of i. Hmm. So we should probably add that in here. It is the uh, it is the ID in the database of the element we are deleting. Now in this case it was our task.id. In fact, for purposes of readability, I think I'd rather call this id. It's the integer that we're sending through. And when this succeeds, this wound up giving us back a boolean again. So we have a boolean, rocket, some curly braces, comma. The other situation is we have an error and some curly braces. I'm going to use for that case the same thing that right now just prints out for our success case however we can copy over what we had this isn't data this is bool and then we would call load tasks when they fet or when they delete something and the load tasks should work and you note that already this code looks like it compiles uh i guess we can test it though I'm, i almost don't want to because i can't add a task yet and we only have one thing that we can delete so i'm going to go ahead and actually write our add method before i do the delete so what did adding a task look like here. That was the code for it in our previous JavaScript. I'm going to comment this out, but I want to have it handy. So we're going to write an add task. Returns unit. And this basically the entire thing. So we did have Thing where we get a value. Now once again this doesn't work here because general elements don't have a value but we can convert it to an input type and that will have a value and everything after that is doing a fetch. So let's call our fetch json dot the fetch post. Our URL for this was the add route the CSRF token goes through as is. The data that we were sending in this case was the task, which was what we pulled in through here. It's just a string. And once again, this gives us back a Boolean value, just telling us whether or not it worked. And I will go ahead and pull our error code from there. 
when it succeeds, it's supposed to do this. Okay, it is supposed to load the tasks. Oh, did I have any stray semicolons up there? No, I didn't. Load the tasks in, set values. Oh, now I'm like, that one should be an error. Okay, so we changed the name here, so that's a bool. And once again, we can't set values unless we know that it's an input type. So that will have a value. The inner HTML things work just fine. And now we should be able to add tasks. Uh, because this compiles, I definitely have much more confidence in this than I would if this were JavaScript code. So if we come out and we run, now that we can add tasks, I am willing to both test the running or the adding and the deleting. Nope. Add task isn't there. Okay, and that is once again because this is being called from the HTML. So it's quite possible our add task does work, but it's not visible from here until we come in and we add an annotation like this one to tell the Scala.js compiler that this needs to be accessible from the outside as add task. Task one, excellent, excellent. And if I click them, the things I click go away. <clears throat> Log out should still be an error because we haven't written that code. Okay, but add and delete definitely appear to be working. And that leaves us with two elements to write in this application, a logout and a create user. Okay, so create user. This was the code for it. We actually know that most of this uh, will... Okay, so there's load, there's login. Create user also needs to be able to be called from the top level because it is referenced in our HTML. So we'll make a create user gives back unit. We'll go ahead and paste this just for reference real quick. We're getting the username and the password. I will need to change this up ever so slightly. So it's not login name, it is now create name and create pass, where we get the username and the password from. We build our model, our data again here. And what we want to do, actually, now that I look at this, looks remarkably similar to what we had done for login. It's not a validate route anymore. Instead, we are going to call the create route. We still need the CSRF token. We need the data that we built here. And as before, we get back just a Boolean. And let's double check the contents here. So we hide the login. We show the tasks. And we set both, instead of the login message, or we set both the login message and the create message to empty string. If it fails, we change the create message to user creation failed, and we have our same fetch error. I actually have a minor challenge here that I don't know what users I have set up on this. So we are going to create a new user called Pat. And now we're into here. Um, okay, I still don't have a logout, but fortunately I can refresh 
the page. Okay, so creating a new user appears to work. And our last feature to be done with this version of our playlist is the logout. So down at the bottom here, we had a function for logout. And this, once again, has to be a top level accessible function. So we will pull in the logout and def logout unit equals, paste this in here. Uh, the logout route was another get call, not a post call. So let's do a fetch JSON post get. Uh, in this case, it didn't really return anything to us. So we're, it's actually simpler than that. Um, and the success function, that's an interesting question of what I could put inside of here. Uh, except I'm going to have to specify the type of this. Does our logout, this is one of those challenges of trying to reuse too much code, does the logout send anything back? Uh, oh, it does send back a true. Good. So we actually can, uh, in version six, we can take bool is a boolean. It's always going to be true, but in some ways that's okay for us. What we cared about was the fact that we got something and we needed to know what type it was. Okay, and when it succeeds, these were the things that were supposed to happen. Once again, those are not happy as written because we don't have direct access to the hidden, but if we set these things to be JS dynamics, then we can set the hidden parameter and see if this works. That will not work. That appears to be there, log out. Excellent. Uh, it's leaving those things in. We should probably clear those on the, on the login. But other than that, this has full functionality. I'm gonna put in the code to clear those because I don't like them being populated when you log out. Uh, especially, yeah, especially since the password is remembered. That's a interesting security no-no. I will make that change and we will say we are done with this. Now what we're gonna come back after this is we're gonna start working with React in Scala.js. So the last version of the playlist, of the task list that we are going to write is a version that uses React with Scala.js using a library called Slinky as the facade for, for React. But for now, take a break. We have a version of this completed and you can see how to use Scala.js uh, as part of a play application doing all the things that we've been doing up until this point.